Let's uh, welcome in Delegate Chuck Hurst from the 95th. Chuck, good morning to you, sir. How are you feeling? Good. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Admiral. Good morning, um, Chuck. I'm not quite sure where today's going to go with that <laughs> intro, but we'll see. Yeah, I've, I've heard people that equate you to the Northern Lights, Chuck. Any truth to it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's, he's got a glow about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got me to loss there, Bill. <laughs> how, do you, how do you make a comeback to that one? Uh, uh, by the way, Chuck is the chairman of the Natural Resources Committee, serves on energy and manufacturing, finance, jails, and prisons, and workforce uh, development, too. Uh, Chuck, let's, uh, let's get right into it first, because this is the final week of the regular 60-day session, correct? Yes, sir. Six days to go, counting today. <laughs> <laughs> and you figure to get out of there on time this year with the budget passed and such? Yeah, I think we will. I, I, I believe everything looks pretty promising at the moment. Uh, you know, you, I, I don't want to say for sure, but it looks pretty promising, I think. Is there a particular subject that you feel you may be called back to for a special session or interim uh, session? I don't know. There's a... I wouldn't be surprised if, 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 if there's surplus money left over if we're not called back to appropriate that to something possibly. But um, uh, I guess that would depend on how much surplus and perhaps what the government may have in mind. Uh, so uh, that's, that's the only thing I really foresee uh, that as, as a, something that might be likely. And, of course, if you believe you'll get out of there with a budget on time, then you must also believe you'll get this tax bill passed as well because you can't pass a budget without knowing what your tax situation is so the tax bill was passed saturday mm -hmm. and uh i would uh i fully expect the governor to sign it i would i would expect he'll probably do uh and this is just a guess but i would expect he'll do some sort of a public uh signing of it probably this week would be my guess chuck <clears throat> do, you, do you regard that tax compromise as a victory or are you disappointed in it uh, I, I'm not quite sure where I'm really at on there. I, I mean, I think it's a, <clears throat> I think it's a good thing. Uh, it it, it uh, gives quite a bit of relief back to the people uh, uh, via the uh, income tax reduction and then the uh, uh, rebate on the uh, car tax. And then there's a little bit of provision in there that helps uh, the smaller businesses in the state by giving them some uh, relief. 50, I think 50 percent. Uh, rebate back on uh, equipment inventory tax for basically just small businesses. The small business aspect of that hasn't gotten as much attention as it needs to get, Chuck, because this was one of the big complaints from small business people after Amendment 2 failed, because a lot of attention was given to, well, we're just going to be giving large out-of-state corporations a tax break, and why would we want to do that? And the small businessman got stepped over on that one, Chuck. Yes, and um, you know, it, it, the 50 percent back and in, in, in since it's directed at the smaller businesses, it's not a huge percentage of the actual tax uh, reduction. It's uh, I think it's uh, 35 million dollars, if I recall correctly, mm -hmm. or at least estimated to be 35 million. I guess that can change up or down a little bit, but uh, 35 million there. And then uh, uh, the car tax, I think it was 155 or 57 million. And then uh, the bulk of it was, uh, I forget the number, it was north of $500 million in the income tax reduction, if I recall correctly. Bill Stubblefield. Yeah, uh, good morning, Chuck. Uh, PIA was also passed this week, uh, by, at least in the House, I think by 69 to 27, if memory serves. Uh, and something had to be done. There's no question at all that you had to take action. Hey, uh, the yeah. teachers feel, though, that they have been – carrying the the burden of it do you talk to any of the local teachers about pea uh yes um and, and as you stated something had to be done uh it's 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 gotten into a terrible position um uh we've got providers across the state that are starting to not take peia uh hospital up in wheeling said come july 1st they will no longer accept peia uh, <clears throat> i think uh if I recall correctly, it was all the pharmacies in the in the Kroger stores will not take PEIA any longer. Um, so, so when you're losing providers, I mean that that, that that's 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 a big problem. And and the reason we're losing providers is PEIA only covers providers, pays providers at 50% uh, of what Medicare pays. And and I'm sure everybody's familiar with how everybody complains about the. Uh, 
reimbursement from Medicare as, as being low. Uh, so so in, that, in, in what we've done Saturday, uh, we addressed that. Uh, we addressed the 80-20 uh, split, which 80, 80% paid by the state and 20% paid by the employees uh, because they haven't been paying 20%. So it's, it's going to bump that up to where they pay 20%. So there will be a premium increase. Uh, so, so that takes care of that. Um, and, 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 I'll, and I'll add, there, there hasn't been a, any substantial premium increase since I think it was 2011. And in those different policies, the premium increase since 2011, from what it was in 2011 to what it currently is, some policies went up one dollar, and a couple policies went up two dollars as far as premium increase. So yeah, it really hasn't been a premium increase. <clears throat> um, and also, another big part of of what we passed is is really going to be some fiduciary responsibility on the board. Uh, it's changing the makeup of how the board operates. Everybody on the board will have to uh, attend fiduciary school. And, uh, and and when they're looking at uh, the program going forward, uh, what has happened in the past is they would simply make a recommendation that, uh, say, premiums need to be raised. And that, that punted the football, punted the ball to the, to the political side of things then. And politi- politically, nobody has been wanting to do that. So... Uh, uh, we had the $150 million in that uh, one bucket for bailing out PEIA different times. That that money is now gone. And I think that the uh, bailout for this year, I think, it, if I recall correctly, and I got both loads of numbers in my head, so it's, I, I may mix some of them up a little bit. But uh, if I recall correctly, it's like $80 million for this year that we would have to dump into PEIA. And and, and basically basically what's going on is, is, is the program – is spending more money than what comes into the program and it's just it's not sustainable and what we've done is is um tried to change the setup of the whole thing to make it uh 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 solvent and um and on the back side of that the very next bill that we've done after passing that was a pay raise for uh state employees and it's a flat across the board Two thousand three hundred dollar pay increase for all, for all state employees, and now, and, and that was largely to help out with the premium increase. And and I just want to just want to run a couple numbers by you here real quickly on that. Um, the the one the one program here and and and, and PEIA is kind of weird because it the, your your premiums are based on on how much money you make as well, which is which is a little bit odd, but that's what we have. Um, so. Out of that twenty three hundred dollars um, on the on the uh, plan A premiums, I guess is what I'm looking at. Uh, the uh, amount of that uh, pay increase that will be used in the, to pay that premium, the the amount the premium goes up will be eight point two percent of that pay raise. So twenty three hundred dollar pay raise. They'll they'll actually see uh, if you take that premium increase out, they'll see a twenty one hundred and ten dollar pay increase, and you get to the top end of the scale on that one. There, it becomes a fifteen hundred and sixty two dollar pay increase after the premium, and then you go into uh, a, a, not, a, a different plan here, and that plan ends up being a uh, eighteen hundred and fifty six dollar pay increase. And at the top tier of income, it would be just a twelve hundred and two dollar pay increase. Uh, and then the, the the I guess the very best plan is what it is, I suppose. The very top tier, and that's people making one hundred and thirty three thousand plus dollars a year. Their pay increase after the premium increase would only be eighty eight dollars. Uh, at the beginning of that chart there. The pay increase for the for the lower pay scale of uh, zero to twenty eight hundred dollars, if this is the plan that they're using, they would still see a one thousand seven hundred fifty two dollar pay increase. Uh, everybody seems to be glossing over that, and uh, uh, 
Oh, crap. Did they lose me? Here you, Chuck. We're here. Am I, am I still on? Yeah, we yeah, still have yeah, you, Chuck. We're, we're still on. Yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. I, 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 thought, I thought something happened there, and I didn't have you. Sorry about that. Absolutely. Appreciate you not cussing. <laughs> what he did, actually. <laughs> he just said crap. Crap's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the alternative would not have been good. Uh, but, but, yeah, everybody's glossing over that, and, and you know, I'm seeing everybody saying, that oh, they're getting a big pay cut and everything. And in, in reality, that's not really true. There's, uh, I mean, there are some at the, ver- the higher end pay scale, you know, the $100,000 and plus, where their pay increase won't be very much. Uh, granted that, but the majority, uh, the majority, you know, and, and, and I'd say the majority of, of, of these people are under under 50000 they're still going to get a pretty decent pay increase, uh, even after you subtract the P, PEIA premiums out. So, Chuck, is this increase uh, annually, or is this a one-time deal? Oh, it's annually. It's yeah. it's it's a it's a permanent increase. So every year there'll be a twenty three hundred dollar pay increase. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I applaud you, Chuck, having these numbers uh, in front of you. Obviously, you were anticipating this question. So, but well done. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. I had it on my phone. That's that's why that's why I thought something happened. I yeah, didn't, yeah. might have lost you or something because I was looking at them on my phone. Now, this is a the, what I understood you say uh, that most everyone would get anywhere from uh, a thousand eight hundred eight hundred eight. Eighteen hundred dollars increase out of this twenty three hundred dollars. After you, well, pay- I, I, actually, actually, the uh, the uh, the the highest pay increase after the premium increase was twenty one hundred dollars and something. Twenty one hundred. Um, twenty one ten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, so- and, that, and that varies from one. So there's a couple of different plans there, and it's kind of weird, but depending on how much money you make, also factors into what your premium is. Now- so the. The, the lower your income, the lower your premium. The higher your income, the higher the premium was. Okay. What this does not address is the spousal coverage. Do you have any idea at all, Chuck, how many PIA recipients uh, actually have their spouse covered? I do not know that number. Um, and I, I guess I will say on, on the spousal coverage is I guess, I guess in the private sector, what we've done with the spousal coverage is pretty much common practice, uh, to my knowledge, in in the private sector. So it's not it's not like it's something that's really abnormal. But 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 it is a change, and and I and I will add I, I do want to clarify something too, that um, uh, our retirees that are on PEIA, this none of this affects retirees at all. That that plan does not affect retirees. It does not affect uh, 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 county people, local people that are on PEIA that uh, that don't work directly for state, like uh, people that work for the county that are on PEIA, it does not affect them either. So retirees and 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 your workers that are not actually state workers that are on PEIA, it does not affect them. Only only the class that they consider active, and that is the actual state workers. And that's the 26% premium increase. Uh, does the $2,300, uh, do every, does everyone get that $2,300, including the retirees? Well, um, I don't know that that goes to retirees. I'm, I, I don't want to say. I, yeah. I'm not sure. I, I suspect that pay increase probably doesn't go to retirees, but I'm not positive. Yeah, you wouldn't think so if they're not getting the premium increase. There's no reason right. to reimburse yeah, for I, Yeah, uh, I, I, like I say, I don't think so, but but I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to speak to it for certain because I'm not sure. Looking in hindsight uh, for, a, uh, for a few years, uh, Chuck, and we all want to blame somebody or some organization. Uh, the fact there had not been a premium increase since 2011, does that fall on the shoulders of the administration? I know a couple of governors have said, at least one governor said, you'll not see a premium increase on my watch. Uh, does, is that the responsibility of the governor, the legislators, or how do we get so far out of kilter? Well, I, I, I think, well, I, I think foundationally the, 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 the program has is, is just been uh, set up terribly to begin with. Um, because it, it had a big failure, I think, back under Governor uh, Caperton, I think, uh, and, and had to have a big bailout then. Um, and it, it's 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 just a, a it's become a political football to some degree. Nobody wants to touch it because 
no matter what you do, somebody get mad, get, is, is going to be upset over it. Well, yes and, uh, yes and no. It, uh, every, it's my understanding that when it was first implemented, everybody was quite pleased with it, and everybody accepted the 2080 uh, uh, responsibility, their own responsibility. Uh, where it started going south was the fact that the, uh, the employees started progressively over time paying less than their 20 percent and the state was paying more and more and infusion more and more uh if you can hold that 80 20 then it appears to be a very successful program well um i think perhaps it may have been successful at one time at the 80 20 uh and 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 and, and you're correct uh, that that uh, that it was working pretty well but it looks to me and uh Probably since the Affordable Care Act uh, come into play, I, I think that has that also factors in uh, with health care costs rising substantially, and I think that also factored into uh, uh, the problems with PEIA as well. Uh, um, and what when 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 you look at the charts on on what the state has had to put into it. You go, you go back 2010, 2011, somewhere in around there. And it's like 10 million here, 10 million the next year, and then you jump to 20 million, and and now you're jumping to uh, 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 80 million, I think it is this year, and then it, it's projected right now. And, and this is from uh, uh, from Dr. Shirley, uh, who is uh, not partisan in this at all, and. It, and it's projected, uh, if I recall correctly, is uh, 2027, that hole to be north of $400 million. If I recall correctly, it was like $433 million hole in uh, 2027. Yeah, my I, I remember approximately the same numbers you do, Chuck, uh, about that, that, that scale. Uh, pretty significant. Uh, so uh, uh, everybody acknowledges something has to be done. Uh, the question... And I and I've been hearing it from both sides. Uh, one, I've been hearing from some teachers that when you couple the uh, the premiums, uh, premium increase, the twenty six percent premium increase, up to not everyone gets a twenty six percent. You're you're right, yeah, up to twenty six percent. And then the uh, uh, the spousal coverage uh, that they're actually losing money with the twenty three hundred dollars. Uh, I've not run all the numbers, so I'm just going by what people say. Uh, but there seems to be some angst among uh, some of our local uh, uh, local teachers that they're actually receiving less than what they had before, even well, with twenty three hundred dollars. And I haven't looked really yeah. in depth at the numbers yeah. on because of the with the spousal thing, um, but I also will say that if if um, um, if the spouse drops off of their policy and accepts the policy from their employer, then the their actual PEIA premiums will drop then also because they don't have the spouse on there. Yeah. So, you know, I it, it, it's kind of hard to say how that will all work out because you don't know what the cost would be for, for the spouse taking the uh, insurance up with, with their employer versus what how much the PEIA, PEIA drops versus the increase or possible increase uh, that they would be paying to the other employer. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that we could even figure that without it looking at each one individually. So, I don't know that anybody is. I, I think that cost right there, if they choose to keep the spouse on that plan, if I recall correctly, it's a hundred and forty-seven dollars a month increase. That's correct. That's right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so if I recall correctly, that comes out to about seventeen hundred dollars a year. Uh, so, looking at that one, looking at th- there could be some that go backwards there, but looking at that at the lower one where where the pay increase was twenty one hundred dollars, even if they paid the additional seventeen hundred dollars a year for the spouse, they they would still be in the positive, but just by uh, what said uh, about. Uh, 400 bucks or something like that. Yeah, Chuck, Rob's going to tell us in a couple of minutes about to run out of time, but going into the session, you folks had three big 
big things you had to address. One was the tax cut, second one was PEIA, and the third was the HHR. Uh, you, you addressed all three of them, obviously not to everybody's preference, and there will be some critics, some criticism down the line, uh, but I do give you folks credit for, uh, for addressing these three major issues. Yes, and, and, you know, some of it was tough votes. I mean, you know, um, you know, like, like the PEIA, you know, you, 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 know you're not, you know there's going to be people that's unhappy, but, but the bottom line on, on that is something has to be done. It's just it's simply not sustainable the way that it was. Chuck, in regards to the sustainability long-term of PEIA, is this, uh, are we bailing water from the boat and eventually this boat's going to go down anyway? Are we just delaying the sinking of the ship? Or do you feel like these moves secure the long-term health of PEIA in West Virginia? And notice well, how he said sinking of a ship, which scares me. <laughs> Bill's an admiral. He doesn't like that. Um you know, and, 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 and I honestly can't answer that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that, that it makes a big difference towards it um, uh, once, once this is all in place and enacted uh, and, and, and that board is up, up and functioning as it should, then, you know, there may need to be some adjustments in the future. Um, and, of course, some of that will depend on the cost of health care as we go forward, uh, which seems to be uh, ever, ever increasing. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. Foundationally, the board is being changed so that when uh, when there's a premium increase that that would be required, that the premium increase would happen without uh, without politics becoming involved or, or a particular administration saying uh, during the election year, oh no, we're not increasing premiums this year because that's you know that's going to hurt us in election. So hopefully, it takes all that out of the equation and 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 the plan is operated the way that it should at that point. Chuck, could you get Brad Knoll his uh, shooting range in Berkeley County? I, I, I have not got a chance to ask about that anytime recently. If I get an opportunity, I will I will talk to the director again and, and, and see if he can give me any heads up as to where we're actually at. Brad, hang in there. Chuck's working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, thank you for your time this morning. As always, very much appreciated, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chuck.